Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. I am Dr. Amit Gusami, a laparoscopic and bariatric surgeon practicing in Gurgaon with over two decades of experience. Today, we are diving a bit deep into inguinal hernia, the most common type of hernia. We'll discuss the anatomy, causes, treatment options, important diet and lifestyle changes that can help you to manage or prevent it. But before you get started, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss an update. So let's get started. So what exactly is an inguinal hernia? A hernia occurs when an internal organ or tissue pushes through a weak spot in the surrounding muscles. An inguinal hernia specifically happens in the groin where the intestine or abdominal fat bulges through the inguinal canal. There are two types of inguinal hernia. One is indirect, mostly congenital, but can present in adults also. Indirect inguinal hernia develops over time due to muscle weakness. Now, what are causes and risk factors? What causes an inguinal hernia? Some of the most common factors include weakness in the abdominal wall. It may be because of the age or less commonly because of the previous pregnancy. Heavy lifting without proper technique, chronic coughing or straining, often in conditions like COPD, constipation or urinary problem. Obesity. Obesity is one of the important causes in causing hernia because what happens? Excess weight puts pressure on the abdominal muscles. It increases the abdominal pressure and results in inguinal hernia. Pregnancy also increases abdominal pressure as well as aging. Along with the aging, muscle of the abdominal wall become weak over time. If you experience a pulse in the groin area, pain while coughing, lifting or standing, and any discomfort in the lower abdomen, you might have an inguinal hernia. Now, let's talk about how we treat inguinal hernia. Treatment options for an inguinal hernia depend on the severity and symptoms that you are experiencing. There are mainly two approaches, non-surgical and surgical. If you consider the non-surgical management, small painless hernia can sometimes be monitored without immediate surgery. Now regarding the surgical repair, surgical repair which is the most uh, definitive treatment. Surgical repair of an inguinal hernia is designed to return the protruded content back to its original place and reinforce the gap in the abdominal wall with a mesh to prevent recurrence. There are mainly two types of surgical repair. One is open repair, one is laparoscopic repair. Now the open repair, a small incision is made directly over the hernia site in the inguinal region. The surgeon carefully dissects down the hernia sac, reduces the content, then they reinforce the weakened area using sutures or most commonly a synthetic mesh. Now mesh acts like a scaffold. I uh, give a common analogy. It works like a cement. So cement makes the construction of the wall more powerful, more stronger. Same happens with the mesh. On mesh, Tissue grows and ultimately the uh, defect closes. Now, what is Abthantis? It's a well-established technique, particularly useful for large or complex hernia. Now, if we consider laparoscopic re repair of inguinal hernia, it is the most commonly performed procedure. Uh, several small incisions are made, mostly three, and a laparoscope is inserted to guide the surgery. The hernia is reduced, mass is placed over the defect, from the within abdomen. If we consider a bit deep into the technical details, the laparoscopic method can be performed either by a transabdominal preperitoneal approach or totally extraperitoneal approach. Both techniques have the benefit of less postoperative pain and quicker return to normal activities. Now, what is the advantage? Laparoscopic repair is minimally invasive, often resulting in less scarring reduce pain, reduce dis discomfort, and hence faster recovery time. In both the methods, meticulous attention is paid to ensure that the mesh is securely placed to minimize the risk of recurrence. We use 
certain stitch or a fixating device for fixation of mesh. Post-operative care includes pain management, monitoring of any complications or gradual return to activity as advised by your surgeon. Inguinal hernia treatment, particularly the surgical repair, has evolved to be both safe as well as effective. Whether you undergo an open or laparoscopic procedure, the goal is same, to reduce the discomfort, prevent complications, and restore normal function. Now, if we consider about the diet and lifestyle changes for inguinal hernia, Surgery isn't the only factor in managing an inguinal hernia. Your diet and lifestyle play a very vital role. What is the healthy eating tips? Most commonly high fiber food. Now, what, what are types of high fiber food? That is fruits, vegetables, whole grains. It prevents constipation. Now, you should be encouraged to take lean protein like chicken, fish, tofu to support your muscle strength. You should avoid heavy meals that causes bloating or acid reflux. Small, frequent meal is helpful. Maintain a healthy weight to reduce abdominal pressure. Strengthen your core muscles with safe exercise under someone's guidance. Avoid heavy lifting or use proper lifting technique. Quit smoking to prevent chronic coughing. Inguinal hernias are definitely common. But with the right treatment and lifestyle choices, you can manage it effectively. If you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms, please consult a surgeon for the best course of action. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more insights on hernia and other health topics. Thank you.